mind everyone today we are on a new island called Nisiros we came here from Rhodes yesterday so right now we're at the port area this is actually where we arrived yesterday and um, we're staying at a place here called Three Brothers how much was this place again? 42 euros per night okay not a not a bad price yeah. They also have a scooter rental, so we just got a scooter. I forgot what the price was, 20? 20 per day. Yeah, so we sorted for a scooter also. So the cool thing about this island of Niziros is that it's a volcanic island. It was made from volcanic eruptions. So you're gonna be seeing lots of volcanic things today, including a volcano. We're gonna be able to walk inside a crater. Yeah, maybe for the first time. Yeah, I don't ever. think we've ever been inside. Inside, yeah. I think we've been on the rim, but not inside. Yeah, so on this island you're able to go inside. You can see all the tour buses here. So this is more of a day tripping island. People just come for day trips. So the boats are going to arrive from other places like Cos Roads, Bodrum in Turkey, in about 30 minutes. And then they'll do tours to like the volcanoes. So there's a little map here. It is a very small island, so we're staying here in Mandraki, which is the capital town. And this is like the rim, I guess, of the volcano. Looks like a volcano from here. And yeah, we'll be going inside there later on. So first we're gonna walk around the town of Mandraki, since we're here. The majority of the restaurants and cafes are on the seafront. So that's really nice in this place. I think pretty much all of them are. Since it's a volcanic island, you'll be seeing a lot of souvenirs made from the volcano rocks. Really light. These here. Isn't that to scrape off dead skin? Yeah. On your feet. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's called uh, pumice or pumice. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Really is light though. I think they have the volcanic bracelets too. Face cream, lava face cream. Lava effect. Yeah. <laughs> So we stopped at this place yesterday. There's a little beach here. Nobody seems to go to this beach though. There's better beaches around here. Just had a Greek yogurt and a tea. Yeah, without the day trips, it's like a ghost town. Yeah, it's so empty. And when the day trips arrive, it becomes a different place. Yeah, still not like super busy, but... No, but not like this. Yeah, you at least see people when the day trips are here. about Mandraki is there's a lot of houses and buildings that are like this made of different kinds of rocks some volcanic rocks I don't think we really saw that anywhere else did we no every lesson is a blessing all right and in this part of the town we have this kind of square that is very different to all the other squares that we've seen in other islands here in Greece and there's also the, the fort on top yeah that we're gonna head to next they call it the Paleo Castro which I think in Greek means fortress so there's always a lot of people eating around here there's a nice little church back there and the main beach near town is that way so we'll head there after we head to the fortress at the top So one of the main reasons that we came to this village is because of Gabriel Traveller. I'm sure a lot of you know of him. He's been on YouTube for ages. Oh, nice patterns. So I was checking islands to go to, either Tilos 
oh this one Niziros and I saw his videos of this place saw the volcano also this village and this is what made us decide to come here even here at the bottom you can already see parts of the fortress the usual lazy Greek cats <laughs> always sleeping so I've watched many of Gabe's videos here in Greece it's one of his favorite places might actually be his favorite country in the world so throughout the years I've seen him around here many times and I had seen the video of his here like uh, three years ago but I didn't realize it was Niziros only when I searched again I realized that this was the place is that the way so this is one of the things that attracted me when I saw his video the patterns that you get the pebble patterns in the little squares so even another square here look at the beautiful designs on the floor we did walk through here quickly yesterday and there were many little squares like this so that's also quite different to the other villages that we go to usually not so many squares around Cool walking around and seeing everything like this. Look at the yellow too. Is that from sulfur? I don't know. Normally when we go to the volcano places and there's sulfur, you usually get these yellows and pinks in the rocks. It's all like that here. So it costs two euros to enter per person. It's definitely a great place to come for views of the main town too. You can see pretty much everything from up here. Some other islands there. They were also made of volcanoes. I think a few of the ones around here are from the volcanic activity. 2007. So this part's a lot newer. No idea what that says. I like the Greek characters though. Be interesting to understand what they mean. The mini door to the museum. Oh yeah, it is a tiny museum. It's just a little room. Some pottery, big plates, big pans too. You know, they just don't have any signs or anything. So, don't know when these plates are from, what date. Never had to crouch down in a museum before, <laughs> permanently. making our way to the beach now right near Mandraki got some really nice views here on the pathway the colors here look even more bizarre don't they yeah <laughs> yellow orange kind of red kind of red there yeah and this is the beach I'll write down the name I think it's called Hohlaki beach volcano beach you can already see it's black very different to the kind of beaches that we usually see in Greece on other islands. Even here on the rocks it already looks like a really nice place to swim. Especially this part here, really clear. Yeah, we have definitely never seen a volcano beach like that in Greece. The pebbles are like, like rock, not a pebble or a thing because it's so big, look at that. Yeah, I wouldn't even call that a pebbly beach, I'd call it like a rock beach. That's why I didn't come in flip-flops today because on the other pebble beaches that we've been to the other day it's not been that comfortable or easy to walk on with, um, with flip-flops so I got hiking boots 
Yeah, like Carol said though, look at the size of these things. All different colors, all different kinds of volcanic rocks. So that's a good idea. They have these wooden decks lying around. There's quite a few because obviously it's not going to be comfortable to lie down on these big rocks and pebbles. Carol had the smarter idea. Bring the trainers all the way to the edge. Not actually too bad to walk on though. I think there are sandy beaches on this island though. So probably in the next video we'll check out some other beaches. I don't think they're all like this. There's a sign back there saying to not take the pebbles. I bet a lot of people want to take these nice ones home. Not allowed. Back in the center of Mandraki now. We've come to a restaurant that we ate at yesterday here. It was pretty good. Really nice views of the monastery back there. Nice Greek music, traditional Greek music. I think I'm gonna get a steak pork. Nine euros. What are you getting today? Maybe bacalao, which is codfish. With or garlic maybe, sauce. Yeah, or maybe the chickpea with curry. I'm gonna ask about how how it is with meat or not. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that one's seven, and the other one nine was nine. We got the same starter as always. You already know. Bored of seeing Saganaki if you've been watching all these videos. Not sure how much that is. And they brought bread. Sometimes we don't want to eat the bread, so we just tell them uh, to take it back. But this time I'm going to go for it again. Just bathe it in olive oil. So Carol ended up going for the chickpeas. Looks spicy, but you said it's not. No, not spicy, but it's good. It almost looks like chana masala in India. Yeah, almost. <laughs> <laughs> and mine's really tasty, I already had a bite. Always great portions in uh, Greece, big portions of meat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. around. Got the old abandoned houses here. In a lot of the Greek villages and towns, you see a lot of abandoned places. Many of these places that you visit on the islands are actually being resettled now because of tourism. So they're places that were settled hundreds of years ago that were kind of abandoned. And yeah, people coming back because of tourism. Not just on this island. I read that on many of the islands, it's like that. So that's a good thing, I guess, bringing life back. So we've come across this other sign here that seems to be a saying about the Castro, the fort, but we're in a completely different area, so I don't know if there's another entrance to part of the fort. Oh, it's nice around here, more like the countryside now, all of a sudden.
So we ended up walking for about 15 minutes, but we have arrived at the fort area, which is where we thought we were going when we entered the monastery before. The ancient Acropolis of Nizirus says that the fortification wall was built in the 4th century BC. So really, really old. That's what protected the ancient city of Nisirus. Wow, certainly looks very different to any of the ones that we saw in the other places. Look at the size of these rocks. Over half my size. Yeah, whenever I see these ancient structures in the world, I always wonder like, how the hell did they lift these things? <laughs> how did they build these things? Yeah, so this is also volcanic rock from what I read. You're gonna get even better viewpoints from up here on the walls. I guess this used to be a tower that we're standing on right now. There you go. So we did walk quite a bit because that was the monastery all the way down there. And back there is the island of Koz. So that's where a lot of people are doing day trips from. And I think this is the rim of the volcano. It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's where we'll be going soon, later on today. I wonder if the walls went down all the way to the monastery though. Yeah, maybe, because can you see some like... Walls. Yeah, it looks like a wall, that thing. It's very like square. <laughs> walk through the only surviving gateway this one got a tiny little rock house here rock building maybe this was constructed later on I don't know actually with the arches like this next to the building there's what looks like a well can't see down there I've seen that a few times though in the historic places that we visited. Here we are at the volcano now. It's three euros per person to enter. It is so, so awesome here in the middle. Look at the colors on this side. So kind of like the similar colors that we've seen on the coast, but yeah, that's like a huge cliff, huge mountain. The island as a whole looks really amazing on the scooter. Yeah, driving here was very, very cool. Zero yeah. traffic. Zero traffic, yeah. And yeah, it's just so different from everything that we've seen in Greece. Super awesome. So right at the entrance, we already have one right here. I don't know if this is the main one. Whoa. <laughs> oh, you can walk over there. I thought we would be just here, but... Oh, you didn't know you could go inside? No, I didn't know. Yeah, you can walk down the bottom. I mean, there's people down there. Just show you how big it is. I mean, they're like tiny little dots. 
I read that there's five craters here overall but I'm guessing that this is the main one I don't know if we can visit them all we'll see here we go Stefano's crater yeah this is the main one because I read that the main one is called Stefano's the main one that people visit so there's a timeline at the bottom it says that the age of Stefano's the crater here is still unknown but it does show some other things that have happened some submarine fractures whatever that means of Mandaraki I guess the town that we were in 1873 new eruptions of Phlegathron and Polyvotis those must be the name of other craters 1873 1933 cause earthquake that destroyed Emborius so we're going to be heading to the village of Emborius which is over there we're going to head there tomorrow in the next video this was the last eruption Micros Polyvotis yeah I mean the, this year that's what I read online check out the sign <laughs> attention the descent to the crater is at your own risk if it erupts it's our fault <laughs> kind of crazy though right living on an island with an active volcano where something could happen at any moment have you been eating eggs no it's it's the smell of the volcano yeah yeah it really stinks now doesn't it mm -hmm. the sulfur smell when we was riding down into the valley we already got a bit of a smell of the sulfur but right now here it's really strong it's only going to get stronger there in the middle The death zone yeah it's, i feel nervous <laughs> even though i know for like for sure or almost for sure that nothing's gonna happen <laughs> so the reason that it's so empty is because all the day trips have already left when we were riding here we saw them all leaving in the boats so basically nobody here well look at the ground now seems to be a zone in the middle that you're not allowed to pass that's the true death zone i guess there's a village up there too that's gonna be our next destination after we finish up here get some amazing views of the crater from up there oh i can hear something i can hear it too yeah. oh i can see a uh, smoke where over there Just really like a oh knife. yeah i can see you won't be able to see that on the camera ah this one you can definitely hear a lot better listen to that Yeah, so that's the reason you're not allowed to walk on that part it's all like that we can see loads of kind of smoke or steam whatever it is coming out of there huge hole here on this side i didn't know that they'd have these these holes in the ground when i saw the picture i just thought it was a big flat area Going on a little hike now to another crater. Just up this path there. Doesn't look too long, maybe 15 minutes. The crater's supposed to be on the other side of this little hill thing here. 
can even see steam coming up over here and on the, the side over there so it's not only the center that must be from the other crater though even over here you have goats still <laughs> volcanic goats smelling the sulfur all day pretty bizarre that you can go from that beach that we were just at to this in about 23 minutes it's not the first volcanic islands that we've been to though in Greece we've been to Santorini but that one's different because the crater is kind of in the water that one erupted as well it kind of destroyed the island and made it look how it does today and we also went to Milos an island near Santorini but didn't really see much volcanic looking things there oh wow here's the other crater check it out smaller than Stefano's isn't it yeah but it looks interesting not so round <laughs> roundy I don't know how to say it's that. more like oval yeah yeah it does a weird shape over there the other one was like a perfect round shape but here you got the mountains right behind it yeah look over there loads of steam coming off Whew. Ah, so there's two Megalos Polyvotis, this one, and Micros Polyvotis, which are a tiny one here that we didn't even notice. So it's two together. So it was Micros Polyvotis that erupted in 1888, the smaller one. In the picture here, it actually shows like a liquid at the bottom. So I guess it fills with liquid sometimes. Not right now though. We've got some sulfur powered batteries here two of them connected to a, a big battery that's just down there beneath those rocks wonder what they're charging that for it's like a cable running all the way to the top there coming out of the rock here yeah i passed by and i felt this warm thing coming into me and you can the, see the steam coming out yeah it's the steam oh oh wow it's boiling hot and it smells bad <laughs> yeah you can see it's dripping. We're now in the village of Nikia, back here, tiny little village. Check what's in the parking lot, the Batmobile. <laughs> I've never seen one of those before, I don't think. Yeah. It's a two-seater, isn't it? Yeah, two-seater, not bad. Yeah, not bad, but what the hell is it? Oh, no way, I said Batmobile, look at that. It has oh. the actual Batman sticker. <laughs> That's funny. And here from this side, we can see another island, Tilos. So we were almost going to go to that one, but we chose this island instead. And so far, definitely happy with our choice. Although that one's probably really nice too. This is what you call an extra, extra quiet Greek village. Literally nobody around whatsoever. It's pretty silent too. You can hear the TVs of some people. That's about it. And some people shouting, woman arguing with her husband. <laughs> That's why Greece is so good though. You can get like a really nice island like this. And uh, yeah, just nobody here at all really. Just because there's so many islands to choose from, they can't all be super popular. The only thing you see here is the cats. More cats than humans around here. 
got this extra beautiful square here. I actually saw pictures of this place when I searched Nisurus. But I didn't know that it was here. Nice restaurant, 1926. And somewhere around here, there's supposed to be a, a viewpoint. Oh, big spider. No thanks. So we're just trying to find that viewpoint now in the maze. All right, there we go. That's where we were. Looks pretty far from here. It only took us like, what, 15 minutes to get here? Maybe quicker? Yeah, yeah I think so. So in the back, you can't even really see the other crater that we went to, the second one. Oh, that's the square we went to. Yeah. Porta Square stands out for its unique architecture. So I think this is definitely the quietest island that we've ever been to. It's a lot more quieter than Carpathos, which was the other one that we went to that wasn't so touristy on this trip. I think it's mainly because we don't really see that many locals here either. Although apparently there's a thousand people living here, but there's 20,000 cats. <laughs> yeah, or <one> more. <laughs> <laughs> the people are outnumbered. That's a nice little archway. Oh, this is the square. Oh, that square again. Yeah. Just went around in circles, didn't even notice. Where does this one go? So we were thinking of going to that church up there that has panoramic views, but yeah, we're kind of tired. I don't think we're, we're gonna bother. It's a lot higher up than we thought. So we found out that we can go to that church on the hilltop by road. So we're just trying to ride there now. The scenery's changed all of a sudden here. Like super green, different kind of rocks. Almost there though, two minutes. So on Google Maps it says that this is called Prophet Elias Church, Elias Church. Pretty much a similar view to what we saw before, just from a higher viewpoint of the valley. Ah, but from here you get way better views of the little village, Nikia. See how tiny it is. I wonder if these work. Oh yeah, they do. Sometimes you have to pay to use these. Whoa. <laughs> Super zoom. Guys, this is crazy. I can like literally see a guy super clearly in the crater. <laughs> I can see everything that he's doing. That's nuts. I mean, from here, you can't even tell that anyone's in there at all. Can you see the guy? Yeah, walking with a big backpack. <laughs> here we go. I can give you the interactive binocular experience. That's the middle of the crater. This is funny, I didn't think I'd be filming like this. Where's that guy? Where's he gone? Uh, yeah, yeah. Where? Uh, left. Up. Left? Up? I don't know. No, there's the steps. Where did he go? There he is. Oh, yeah. When he was in the crater though, he looked way closer. So we're gonna make our way back to Mandraki now. 
Even from up here, you get the great views of Telos Island. Maybe we'll head there one day. You can see some other island in the distance. Oh, I don't know if that's Turkey, the mainland. So we do plan on making another video here in Niziros. There's still more things that we want to check out tomorrow. So that'll be the next video. If you like this one, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And we'll see you in the next one.